Hello everybody. Welcome to the market views update on May 11th, 2018 from Brokerage Free. Important points to note from uh, yesterday's uh, session uh, markets were range bound as of yesterday. Uh, Nifty uh, opened uh, with a gap up uh, but uh, ended on a bearish note uh, yesterday. A dark cloud cover pattern candle was observed in the daily charts yesterday. Uh, FII's sold shares worth about uh, rupees 364 crores. Domestic investors bought shares worth about 900 crores. Uh, let's have a quick look at Nifty. Uh, Nifty opened at uh, 10,779 and closed at 10,716. Nifty made an intraday high of uh, 10,785 and a low of 10,705. Uh, Nifty was down by about 25.1 points from previous day close of 10,741. Support levels at this point of time for Nifty is around 10,685 and 10,655. Resistance levels uh, for Nifty is around 10,765 and uh, 10,815. Markets uh, uh, may be range bound today as well. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the uh, dark cloud cover pattern. Uh, the pattern is identified with the following characteristics. The previous candle is uh, bullish and uh, the current candle opens with a gap up. Uh, the price or the index falls back to the lower half of the previous candle. Um, the candle erases more than half of the gains from the previous candle. Bodies of both the candles are very long. The pattern occurs at a major resistance level. For Nifty, uh, the resistance level for yesterday was at 775, I think, and uh, the high for yesterday was uh, about 10,785. Uh, I will uh, demonstrate this with the charts in the next slide. Gap up happens above the resistance level but closest below the resistance level. High volume of trade happens in both candles. This candle is a possible signal for trend reversal and uh, this is not considered a strong signal. Uh, the confirmation happens only with the next candle uh, which uh, also happens to be a bearish candle. Let's have a look at the chart and uh, find out how this comes out. So uh, this is the charts for Nifty and uh, if you can see Um, this is for uh, the yesterday's candle, which uh, ended on a, a positive note. Um, this candle closed. The, the closing of this candle is 10,741. So here you can see the, this candle for the day before yesterday, which is 9th May uh, 2018, it closed at 10,741. <laughs> So yesterday's candle actually uh, opens with a cap, which is here, and uh, which means that the uh, candle actually opens up much higher, which uh, is around 10,779. But it also goes to a high of 10,785. Yesterday's uh, candle actually goes above the resistance level, which was 10,775. So this candle forms at the resistance level, the, the high or opening happens at the resistance level and which is 10,779. After that, it starts steadily coming down and down, erasing all the gains that it has obtained in the previous day and it closes below the midway mark of the previous candle. So whatever gains had happened on uh, Wednesday uh, has all been erased and uh, market ends on a bearish note. So this is uh, called the uh, dark cloud cover pattern. The reason that this is called the dark cloud cover pattern is that the pulls uh, uh, take charge and open on a very high note, but uh, they lose momentum and uh, steadily start coming down and uh, close on a very bearish note. Uh, this signal, as I mentioned earlier, is, is not a strong signal, but it is definitely an indication that uh, uh, the trend is likely to reverse. This will get the confirmation if the next day's candle, which is today's candle, it uh, also happens to be a bearish candle and it closes the this part of the region. If, if that happens, then uh, uh, the markets may significantly start coming down. So I hope uh, this uh, uh, view of uh, dark cloud cover pattern is helpful to you in understanding 
the trading sessions for the last two days. Let's have a quick look at uh, the world markets. The American markets were largely positive. Uh, Dow Jones up by about 0.8% and uh, SP 500 up by about 0.94%. Uh, largely all the markets in the American uh, segment were all positive. The European markets also seem to be positive, all of them. England, Europe, uh, France, Germany and Switzerland. The Japanese market uh, is up by about 0.78%, Hong Kong up by about 0.92%. Uh, the Chinese market more or less remains the same uh, with the marginal uh, downside of 0.05%. Mumbai Sensex and uh, NSE Nifty were down by about 0.21% respectively. At the time of preparing this report, uh, Singapore Nifty was up by about 71 points, uh, which is about 0.48%. Taking this into consideration, uh, uh, it is very possible that the market may open slightly higher than what it closed yesterday. And uh, if uh, the bulls were to take charge uh, or, or get some momentum, it will slightly go up. Uh, however, let's see how the markets evolve today. Thank you for watching this edition of uh, Market News Update from Brokerage Free. Uh, please be cautious with your trades today. Very good luck from us. Thank you.